advisor to President Ronald Reagan, founder and chairman of Laffer Associates, back with us now. And how are you, Art? It's been I am very well, Bill. It, Thank you. It has you. been too long. And just so to refresh our audience's memories, you were there during the Reagan years, leading that uh, that tax charge to change things then. And here we are, what, 31 years later? <laughs> oh, my um, God. You, you just heard what the good doctor just said. Yes, Rocky I did. days ahead. You watch the health care thing play out and then fail. Are you more optimistic or less? Because well, obviously, I'd love to have seen the health care pass. I mean, that's very simple. That's very straightforward. But what uh, Charles said in, in his statement about tax cuts, and that would blow a hole in the budget, that won't blow any hole in the budget. Believe me when I tell you, if you cut the corporate rate from 35 percent to 15 percent, do nothing else, the government revenues will soar in the next two years and more than make up for the static revenue losses by many fold. So Charles is wrong on that, and that's what the president should do. It's really hard to get tax reform bill in the first year or two of an administration. Uh, you really need bipartisan support, and there is none today. There wasn't any in 1981 and 82 either. Uh, so we need to do that. But you got to remember, life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. We will get health care okay, reform. So, okay, we wow. will get tax reform. Okay, we will. So you're going on record with both then. You're going to get health care yes. reform and you're going to get tax reform, correct? I mean, it may take a couple of years, but you know, a couple of years is nothing in the long sweep of time. Well, you got a, you got an election coming up next year. So yeah, well, we you, lost you badly in 82. Elasticity in your plans. Grover Norquist yes. writes this, all right? Six reasons why he believes it'll happen. Speaker Ryan says we are now 96. 7% in accord after you got rid of the border tax. Republicans are very good at cutting taxes, he argues. Yes. Proposals pro family, it's also pro middle class. Business community is united on that corporate tax rate cut, either 15, 20%. We'll see if that happens. There's an election, as I just mentioned, November 2018, and many moderate Dems privately support lower taxes, although they may not go on record and say that. I I think you believe with the principles that Norquist is arguing. Yeah, However, I think he's you, totally you right. Can see how people are dubious based on what we just saw play out. Yes, I can understand why people are dubious, and they have a good right to be dubious because this Congress has been dysfunctional, to say the least. But Grover is completely right on this. The Democrats know corporate tax cuts have to take place as well. And if I were doing it, I would do a very simple cut. Wherever it says 35 percent on a statutory corporate tax rate, I drop it to 15 percent, and that's all I do to keep it simple so that we can get it through without all these debates on secondary issues. But, I mean, there are other things in there, the deductions, the getting rid of the estate tax, all of that's wonderful stuff. But that can wait. The corporate one is the one that's going to shoot the adrenaline into the heart of the economy and really bring us okay, out of this so low just level. So in your vision, then, you're going to get the corporate tax rate. I think the corporate right. tax rate what should else? be done and should be done. The Democrats know it should be done. I mean, I've talked to a lot of them, and not one of them disagrees with it. Now, they want a price from the Republicans, but they know it should be cut dramatically. All right. Politico writes this, all right, on that same point. Trump White House quietly courts Democrats for tax overhaul. A few dozen centrist House Democrats have been receptive to the pitch, even as GOP Hill leaders pursue a partisan path. Do you believe today you'll get any Democratic votes? For I it? think we will. I think we will get Democratic votes if they keep it very simple and make it straight corporate tax rate reduction. I think we could get a couple Democrats in the Senate. And I think we could get up to as many as maybe 25 or 30 or 40 in the House. I mean, there are a lot of Democrats in the supposedly conservative caucus who really do want to get a corporate tax rate reduction. Now, they want a lot of other stuff, too. But I think if when push comes to shove, they'll go for the corporate tax rate reduction. Well, Art, come on back, okay? We're going to talk about this I would lot. love to, Bill. Thank you, you for having Art me. Art Laffer, you bet. Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you, sir. Here's Shannon. I it play. is.